Hello, everyone. Welcome back to class. This is Jennifer, and this is Peter. Well, Peter, we have a very good topic today. It's entitled、uh, "Mount Vernon: The Start of Historical Preservation."、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mount Vernon. Well, we'll find out about that later on.、Mm-hmm. The start of historical preservation. 这种开始，什么开始呢？就是历史啊方面的这些保护啊。Preservation, 也就是保护。那么这边就相当于 protection 一样的意思。Yes, protection of something. 对， mm-hmm. 但是通通常一般人有呢 ，there seems to be a problem. 呃、uh, ，you know, telling the difference between historic and historical.、Oh? Historical 呢，通常是跟历史有关的。That's a historical building. 但是呢，如果是 historic， 是指的是历史上很重要的。我们说卢沟桥 is a historic bridge because 因为那个是怎么呢 ？It has to do with the Sino-Japanese War， 呃，中日战争有关的这个一个东西，就是那个叫做 historic， 跟历史上有它的重要性的。好，就差别在这个地方。我们现在就来看一下这文章里面的内容怎么说的。Travel anywhere in the United States. And you are almost certain to be near a famous person's home you can tour. Well, this patterns of、uh, this pattern, this sentence pattern is very important. See, travel anywhere in the United States. 这是一个命令句，也是原形动词开始开头，后头一定要加个 and 做连接词。那么这个 and 反的那么，比如说 study hard and you'll be successful. You will pass the examination. 要用功，那么你考试就会考及格。否则你就考不及格。你就把 and 改成 or. Study hard, or you will fail the test. 所以这边就相当于 if 子句。If you travel anywhere in the United States, you are almost certain to be near a famous person's home you can tour. 一样的意思。所以那个 and 是连接词，很重要。将来考试，一看前面有原形动词，引导的命令句，或者一定是 and 或者是 or 这样用法。and 就是那么 ，or 就是否则。好，你到美国各个地方去旅游的时候，那么你呢，几乎可以确定 you are sure to， 就 you are almost sure to， 啊，就是肯定的会干什么呢 ？To be near a famous person's home you can tour。它是几乎是可以的，你肯定的可以，你会就走进 approach 这个 to be near 就是 approach 接近一个很有名的人，也是个名人的这个的故居。而这个故居可以怎么样呢 ？Which you can tour， 你可以参观的。You can visit， 那个 tour 就得 visit。接着我们再往下看。Perhaps it's a farmhouse that blank a notable 19th century writer. A palace built by a wealthy newspaper owner, or the residence of a well-known political figure. Hmm. Perhaps, 也许这个有名的这个人呢，名人的故居呢 ，is a famous farm. Is as a farmhouse. 可能是一个所谓是农舍 farmhouse. 什么农舍呢 ？That blank. 那个 that 就等于关系代名词。那可是后头放的是一个人。A notable, 也就是知名的，就等于 famous. Nineteenth century, 十九世纪的一位作家的一个什么东西。那个时候，你既然是一个人作家，所以那个 that 后头我们马上找的呢，这个第一个选项呢，应当是要选哪一个呢？嗯、mm, ，D belonged to. 这属于某人的 that belongs to me. 那属于我的 that belongs to him. 等等。可以念 belong 或者是 belong， 两个念法都可以。速度一快的时候，你会念成什么？ Mm-hmm. 很快就是 belong。belong， belong。你速度慢的时候 ，belong 这样子啊。呃、uh, ，turn into 代表变成。我们说呢 ，Wow， what a surprise！ That girl turned into a beautiful lady in just five minutes. Wow, <laughs> 易容术吗？<laughs> 易容术就是马上变成一个美女了，这样子啊。Turn into 好，我们看 serve as 就是充当，呃，就可以当什么用？所以我们可以讲 this room is a is a lab. 
这个小房间是一个 lab， 是一个实验室。But it can also serve as a dining room. 它同时也可以当做一个所谓的餐厅。我们常常聚在一起吃东西的时候，也可以在这个地方那这样吃。那么就 serve as result from 就起因于 obviously the accident result from the driver's carelessness. 它是很明显的呢，这个呢，车祸呢是起因于，但这个这个司机的这个所谓开车的这个不谨慎。但如果是 result 后头加 in， 我们就是 his carelessness resulted in the accident。我们就可以这样讲，造成导致叫 resulted in。所以这显然第一题答案是第四个 D belong to 属于的意思。那么接下来他就说了 a palace。Built by a wealthy newspaper owner, 或者也可能是一个宫殿。这个宫殿呢，也或者是这也是不一定是这个宫殿了，就是在这华府豪宅。这个是 which was built by a wealthy newspaper owner， 它是一个是谁所造的呢？是一个有富有的，就是这个报业大亨啊这样。Or the residence， 或者也可能是一个住宅区。什么什么的这个住住处呢？ Of a well-known political figure, 是一个是政治人物啊，那个知名的政治人物，他的他的住处这样子。好，我们接着再往下看。Blank preserved and protected estates are a familiar sight in the U.S. This wasn't always the case. 好，我们看第二。那我们发觉看应该是要怎么选呢？我们看 preserved and protected estates。Are a familiar sight in the U.S. 这个重点是 are 前面有个动词是 are， 然后接着前面更前面是一个主词，被保护的、被保存的 （preserved， 保存 ）and protected 被保护的，那这些所谓的地产 （estates, estates）。那么 are a familiar sight 是一个很熟悉的一个景观，在美国。This wasn't always the case. 可是，并不是一直都是这样的情况，原来并不是如此啊。所以我们可以看到，这是两个子句在里边。所以就是 this wasn't always the case， 这是有主词 this。那么前面也有呢 ，preserved and protected estates are， 这也是有主词后头有动词。所以这两个子句必须找连接词。我一看就知道答案第几个，第二个。嗯 ，number two is a while。啊，这个 while 这边不当 when 的意思，是当什么？虽然叫 though， 我念成虽然，你听到没有啊？虽然、啊、though or although， 嗯，好，我们就用 although 带进去看，怎么念、嗯、？Although preserved and protected estates are a familiar sight in the U.S., this wasn't always the case. 好，虽然呢，这些经过保存而且保护的这些我们的这些资产呢、啊，也就是房舍等等 ，are a familiar sight， 是一个是熟知的一个景观呢，在美国。可是原来情形并不是一直都是这样的。This wasn't always the situation. The case 情况并不是一直如此。好，所以呢，这个答案是 A。While 这边当虽然的意思。Unless, 除非 since 代表由于 whether 是否，你带进去语义都不对，所以我们可以看出来答案是 A. While he is nice, his brother is bad. 虽然他很好，他的弟弟却很坏。就等于 though he is nice, his brother is bad. 所以答案是 A. 我们接着再往下看。In fact, it was the home of the country's first president that started this preservation movement. 事实上 ，it was 这个后头又用了强势句法。It was 后头加了名词 ，the home of the country's first president. It was 这个东西 that 后头那个 that 是关系代名词，等于 which 引导形容词子句啊，就是前面 the home of the country's first president. It was he who did it. 做这个事情的人是他。It was John who was punished by the teacher. 被老师处罚的是约翰。所以这些用法 ，it was 加名词后头必然放 that， 这个 that 也可以等于 who 或者是 whom 或者是 which， 这边是等于 which 代替前面的 home。但是呢，事实上呢 ，it was the home， 就是这个第一任总统。
这个国家的第一任总统的家。That started this preservation, ah,、uh, movement. 就是展开这个所谓的这个维护啊、维修运动的，那其实就是第一任美国的第一任总统的家呀。好，我们接着往下看。Mount Vernon, the home of George Washington, was originally a Virginia plantation located on the banks of the Potomac River. 好 ，Mount Vernon， 它的名字叫做 Mount Vernon。本来是 Mount 是山的意思 ，Vernon 山，这一定是叫一个小山丘了，这样子哈。那么这个小山丘，它的名字呢就叫 Mount Vernon。这个呢是谁呢？其实他的取名叫 Mount Vernon， 其实他的后头就是讲述讲出来了。Which 啊，他下面讲 was the home of George Washington， 是乔治华盛顿的这个这个他的故园啊，就家园。那么这个 Mount Vernon was originally。原来呢，它是维吉尼亚的啊、uh, ，Virginia plantation， 就是一种植物种植植物的啊，植物园啊，一种一片林园林地 ，which was located on the banks。这这边你也可以改成 which is located， 因为它现在还存在嘛，所以 which is located on the banks， 就是河岸、两岸都有这样的跨河两岸，它的 bank 它加了 s。Of the Potomac River, Potomac 这这个河啊，这两岸原来是是一片林园这样子。好，接着再往下看。The estate was owned by his ancestors, and Washington blinked it from his late brother at the age of twenty-two. The estate, 也就是这个房产呢，这块土地呢 ，was owned by his ancestors， 是原来他的祖先们他所拥有的这块土地。And Washington, 呢，就是 George Washington. 他怎么样呢 ？It from his late brother. 从他过世的哥哥或者是弟弟这边，当时过世的哥哥。The at the age of twenty-two, 在他二十二岁的时候，从他过世的哥哥那边继承过来了。所以这边呢，我们发觉第三呢，我们发觉这里应当是显然有一个 from， 就就知道这个答案应该第几个啊。C inherited inherited it from. 对，从哪边继承的东西 ？He inherited a large fortune from his father. 他从他的爸爸那边继承了一个好大笔遗产。哇，一大箱的这个这个遗产，里面一打开，哇，嗯、是什么呢 ？Kleenex. Oh, wow. 就<笑>是<笑>舒洁卫生纸，嗯，这样子，果然是很好的遗产。这这原来是卫生纸，合起来呢，一共有三十四包这样子，嗯，一大笔遗产这样子。<笑>好，我们就可以这样说。Observed， 这是代表呃观察。Observe his behavior. He is a little bit strange today. 那他你注意他的行为，他有点怪。可是但是 observe 也可以代表遵守。Every good citizen should observe the rules. 所有的国民，好国民都应当遵守的规定。那么，另外还有代表庆祝。We Chinese observe the、uh, you lunar, know, the lunar, lunar New Year lunar holiday. Lunar New Year, ah,、uh, you know,、mm-hmm. by setting of firecrackers, 嗯、mm-hmm. ，就是接着放鞭炮这样子来庆祝这个新年。Abandoned 就是放弃的意思。然后呢？ Uh, established by 建立，所以这个答案呢显然是 C。我们接着再往下看。The farm remained his home throughout the American Revolution and his presidency, and was where he died in 1799 when he was 67. That means you know he lived all his life on this farm. Yes, he、uh, did. Basis is that again. The farm, 这个农场呢 ，remained 就成了他的家园。Remained, ah,、uh, his remain. 后头有一个 to be， 那那个 to be 就不需要写出来。呃，他的家园 throughout 就是整个经历了整个 the American Revolution 美国革命 and his presidency 以及他的总统任期加了个 presidency。如果 president 是所谓的总统，但是当总统的时候 ，he's running for president。他正在这个竞选总统 ，he's running。For president, 那个就不要用 presidency. 呃、uh, ，during his presidency， 在他总统任职之内呢 ，he did a good job. 
他做的表现做的非常的棒，我们就可以这样说。And was where? 同时呢，就是这个 was 前面的主词是 the farm， 就这个农庄呢 was where he died。这个 where 前面是呢 the place was the place where he died， 也就成了他过世的地方。在什么呢 ？In the year of 1799， 也就是在一七九九年那一年那一年。当时 when 就等于 in which he was sixty seven， 他当时是六十七岁这样子。当年六十七岁算是是高寿了，嗯，在那个年代算是高龄了，高龄了这样子哈、嗯。现在六十七岁长寿了，对对对对对，是<笑>对我来讲是小弟这样子哈。嗯<笑>，好，我们接着往下看，怎么说 ？Following his death, Mount Vernon was passed to various relations, but they were unable to maintain it. Following his death, 你就看到 following 就把它当做介词 after. After his death, 在他过世之后呢 Mount Vernon 这个农庄呢 was passed to, 然后就是被传递给 various 各式各类的 relations. 这边不要翻成关系，就是 relatives， 就是亲属，他的亲戚啊，就是传给各个亲属 But they were unable to maintain it. 但是他们都没有办法能够维持它，因为 because they were not, you know, actually presidents, so that's why they couldn't afford to maintain it. They were just common people. They 没有办法来维持，因为 it it would cost a lot of money to maintain. Right, it's a very large estate、yeah. and very expensive, expensive to keep it. Yeah. So, 接着怎么样？什么什么情形发生呢 ？It slowly fell into disrepair. And an 1855 request to Congress to buy the plank was rejected. 好，他说 it slowly fell into disrepair. 这个 repair 是修理 ，disrepair 呢，你就知道是反义字呢，没有修理就是变成了 ruins. Fell into ruins. How do you spell this word? Ruins. Ruins. R U I N S. Ruins. Fill into ruins. 哎，就是 fill to ruins. 这就是变成了废墟啊！它就是就慢慢慢慢的就变成了废墟。结果呢 ，and 连接另外一个主主要词句 ，an eighteen fifty five request， 一个在一八五五年所提出的要求，一个一个要求 ，to Congress 对谁呢？对美国国会。To U.S. Congress, 通常前面不加冠词。那么，就向美国国会的提出了一个要求啊，就是 a request that was raised in the year of 1855 to Congress. 这个要求干什么呢 ？To buy the blank, 就要买这块什么东西 was rejected. 所以，你可以马上可以知道第四应该是选哪一个呢 ？B. Property. Property, 也就是这个资产。也就是房产，也就是 estate, e s t a t e， 一样的意思。Territory 是通常是跟国家有关，一个土地、土地、领土、疆域啊等等叫 territory。然后 dormitory 呢，那是指的通常就是宿舍，这没有关系，这是是指的是学校里面的宿舍，通常简写为 dorm。对 ，school dorms。Yeah, school dorm。然后 community 代表社区。对对，它它是独自所有的，它不是一个社区，所以这个答案应当是第二个 B 是不错的。结果被拒绝了，我们接着再往下看。In 1858, the Mount Vernon Ladies Association purchased Mount Vernon with the aim of restoring it to its former glory. 一八五八年的时候 ，the Mount Vernon Ladies Association 这个组织叫 Mount Vernon 妇女协会这个组织。Purchased, it just bought it. Just they bought Mount Vernon. That means with the aim of, 就是 for the purpose of. 不用 with the aim of， 你就用 for the purpose of. 目的是要干什么呢 ？Restoring, 啊，就是恢复 it， 把它恢复成什么呢 ？To its former glory, 啊，以前的光辉。但记住 ，with the aim of. 也可以改成 with a view to, with a view, v i e w. 后头那个 to 是介词 With a view to restoring, 后头也是要加 i n g 的，或是 with an eye to 那个眼睛那个字啊，也是 with an eye to 啊
e e y e with an i to restoring 都要加 i n g for the purpose of 都是加 i n g 啊，恢复他以前的光芒，恢复这种他的光辉。然后接着我们看接下来怎么说。Blank was this group notable because it was made up solely of women, but they also set a standard for future historic preservation projects. 嗯，这个重点是 but。They also 后头这个 but 对等连接词，呃 ，but also 就转过来，但 also 一定要放在句中啊，这样子哈啊，这个时候我就马上知道前面一定是 not only 才倒装句构，所以这个答案呢，应当是呢第三个 C， 我们念一下 C not only not only was this group notable 好，呃，就是说 this group was not only notable， 它是这样过来的。但是把 not only 放在前面 ，not only can she sing, but she can also dance. 对不对 ？She can not only sing but dance. 那但是用 not only 放在句首，后头要倒装，后头 but 那边也必须也是连接另外一个主要子句。那 also 要插在句中。Not only can she sing, but she can also dance. 那 also 也可以省得掉。所以这个答案呢，显然是第三个 C。他说这个组织不光是出名 ，notable。Famous, because it has what it was made up of. Be made up of, 就是由什么组成的 Be composed of. Solely 就等于就是全全部就等于 purely, p u r e l y. 嗯哼，不光是全部都是由妇女组成的，这这点让我们知道的知名的是这这这一点。而且他们也设立了这么一个标准 for future historic. 有关历史重要性的这些 preservation projects， 要维护的这些工程 project 就是工程，他们也是这个是设立这个有一个标准，非常的棒。那么 not until 如果选 A 的话 ，not until 后头必须必须放名词 ，not until 后头放主词动词 ，not until he came，not until he arrived，did I leave 后头要倒装 ，no wonder 后头直接放主词动词。No wonder he passed the test. He had been studying very hard. Uh, 接着 no longer 后头要倒装 No longer does he live here. 他不在，这是否定副词。他不再住在这个地方了。So no longer can he sing. 他不再不能再唱歌了。所以这个答案是没有问题的。这个答案呢，应当是呃第三个 C。我们接着再看最后一句。So next time you visit a home that looks just like it did in the past. You can thank a group of Virginia women for making that possible. So next time, 下一次 you visit a home, 你去造访 you tour a home, 呃，造访一个房子，这个房子呢 that looks just like it did, 就像它以前情形一模一样的样子。好，完全就是 it did did 就等于 looked just like it looked in the past， 在过去情形一模一样的的样子。那么这个时候呢 ，you can thank a group of Virginia women. 你就要可以谢谢呢，一群维吉尼亚的妇女，还是什么为为什么事情要谢他 ？For making that possible， 就是让他成真的。Making something possible 就是使什么成真，就是实现这个愿望的这些人，你要就要感谢呢。原来就是这群维吉尼亚的妇女。好，我